How was school this week? Good. Has anyone had any homework yet? Yeah. Oh, those mean teachers, I tell you. You didn't do work. No, you, you had a good week this week, didn't you? Yes. Well, just let them chat away for a minute or two. It's okay. <laughs> They've had to sit in school all week, so they need to get all out of themselves now. All right. So, you had a good week. Homework's never good, but we're in church today, and that's great, isn't it? Because we get to be together as a family, as God's people, and I'm going to tell you a story. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Good. Good. So, uh, on the screen, you'll meet two people. They're called Johnny and Sally. Say hello, Johnny and Sally. Ah, oh, come on. Hello, Johnny and Sally. Hello. Everybody say hello to Johnny and Sally. Hello. Oh, I'm impressed. I didn't think that would work as well. <laughs> so there's Johnny and Sally. So Johnny and Sally had a lovely granny. She was just called Granny. Okay? And you know the way grannies, they love to treat us, don't they? They love to look after us. Well, Granny bought Johnny a slingshot. Okay? Because grannies love to buy gifts like that, don't they? Okay. And Johnny was really excited. So he, J uh, Johnny's granny lived on a farm, and there was a forest around it. So Johnny went, ran into the forest, and he started firing his slingshot, trying to hit the target. But he missed the target every time. He, he, was, he was no good. He needed to practice really hard, but he wasn't getting the target at all. So he was a bit annoyed. He was walking back to the farm to get something to eat. And all of a sudden, he saw Granny's favorite duck. <laughs> and by instinct, he went, Pshew! And do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? Yes. He hit the duck. <laughs> and, and, and the duck was no more. And Johnny was like, oh no! I've killed Granny's favorite duck. What's going to happen? Thankfully, there was a stack of wood. And Johnny thought, you know what? I'll hide the duck in there. And I'll see if I can maybe find a new, another duck and convince Granny to like that one instead. Okay, so he, he hit the duck. But when he turned around, there was Sally. And she'd seen the whole thing. She didn't say anything. She just walked back into the house, as did Johnny. And they got their lunch. They were eating it all up. And Granny said, Sally, come on, it's time to do the dishes. And Sally said, Johnny told me he wanted to do the dishes. <laughs> Didn't you, Johnny? And Johnny was like, and Sally said, remember the duck? <laughs> so, right, and then later on, Granda, as Grandas like to do, I can't wait to be a Granda and do this, said, come on, let's go and get ice cream. Who likes ice cream? Yes, everybody likes ice cream. It's great. Anyway, so, but, ice cream. yeah, ice cream's great. Favorite flavor, honeycomb has to be. So anyway, Granny said, no, Sally has to stay. We have to get dinner or get supper prepared. Um, Granny, uh, Sally's going to stay. Johnny can go and get some ice cream. But Sally said, it's all taken care of, Granny. Johnny wants to help make the supper. Don't you, Johnny? <laughs> Remember the duck? <laughs> all right. So Johnny helped make the supper. And then for the next couple of days, Johnny did all his chores and all Sally's chores. Because every time Sally said, Remember the duck? Okay, but it got to the stage, Johnny was on his hands and knees scrubbing the floor. He said, you know what? I've had enough of this. So he went to his granny and he said, Granny, I'm so sorry. I killed your favorite duck. Please forgive me. You know what granny said? It's on the screen, just to make sure I get it right. She said, granny said, I know, Johnny. I saw the whole thing happen. But because I love you, I forgive you, but I wondered how long it would take you to let, so that Sally, you wouldn't be Sally's slave anymore. I wondered how long you would let Sally keep you a slave, okay? We read some wonderful words in the Bible there. It starts off with some really bad news. Paul, writing to the church in Ephesus, says this. He says, you were dead in your sins and transgressions. You were following a dark path to destruction. You were on a wrong road, a bad way. He said, in other words, Paul was saying, you were kept as slaves, slaves of sin and slaves of Satan. A bit like Johnny was a slave of Sally because he had to do what Sally did because of this guilt that he had. 
We lived miserable lives without Jesus. But then, one of these wonderful, verse, wonderful verses in the Bible says this, but because of the great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ. In other words, God in Jesus rescued us. He stepped down in to help us, to tell us that he will forgive us and love us forever because of what Jesus has done for us. But you know what? So often, I do, you do, we all do, we forget what Jesus has done for us. We forget how loved we are. We forget that God forgives us. And even then, God is gracious because he gives us this wonderful meal that we'll celebrate together as a church family to remind us. When we see the bread, we remember that Jesus had his body broken for us. When we see the, the, the juice, we remember that, God, that, God, that Jesus spilt his blood for God's forgiveness. So every time we see the Lord's table, we celebrate the Lord's Supper, we remember God's love for us. And when we remember how loved we are, it should remind us to be grateful, to say thank you. And we don't just say thank you, we live it out. We live God's way to show how thankful we are for God's grace. So that's what today is all about, remembering, celebrating, and then going and living for God because he's forgiven us because of what Jesus has done for us. We remember as we celebrate the Lord's Supper, we remember every day when we read God's Word, and so we're going to stand together and sing my favorite hymn, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know, For the Bible Tells Me So. Let's everyone stand and sing to God. <laughs>